Hi guys, my name is Jordan Justinger, and I'm here. I want to read you a poem or two from the most recent book I, I wrote. It's called Escape from Reality. There's my picture on the back of my head there. Uh, my friend Sam edited this, um, and I really like her photography. She's really nice. But with good photography comes good words. Every poem in this book is made to different colors because it's delving into emotion. Um, a lot of the uh, poems are either metaphors for emotion or written in times of great emotion, um, where those emotions really dictate what is written, less than um, mental ideas, more of body control through getting it out through writing in, in weird words. But um, anyways, I'm going to get into two poems today. Um, they are both pink. So the first one is called Delusional Love. Machine guns, tripod set, poking through the trees where we first met. An ambush laid for a weary soul. Your bullets strike, words take a toll. He lays with a belly full of lead, gasping for you on his deathbed. Your emergence from behind smoking barrel, through the mangrove trees onto white sand where he lays. Red veins form throughout the pale grains flowing to the crystalline water faster than he can bleed. As long as you're there to hold him, that's all he needs. And then this one is called Weakness in the Moment, and I love this poem. Like, this is one of my favorite poems that I've written. Uh, it's uh, Weakness in the Moment, people. Thick rain fills the 40-degree air as it desires to become snow. The mercury recedes slowly as the early morning continues. We break from the group out the wooden garage door into the now crystalline atmosphere. My thumbs squeegee the droplets beneath your eyes, close as our flesh first combines, staring into mine as the motion ceases. The stare remains as white accumulates all around us, stillness in motion, frozen like a Polaroid. And that was weakness in the moment. Um, I, don't, I, I like this one because it's so visual. And, I mean, it kind of... It's not completely direct, but it makes a lot of sense. I mean, thick rain fills the 40-degree air. So it's like right on that teetering point of it's going to be snowy. And I remember this night I was hanging out with several friends. We were trying to make plans. We were actually trying to have a fire outside, like in one of the places that we usually go. But I'm like, this is, it's going to be cold, man. It's going to be cold, so we should go do something inside. So we were able to hang out in my garage. And it was still cold, but it was still, like, it was beautiful the way that the light rain filled the air. But we were out there so long. I mean, we hung out until, like, 3, 4 a.m., maybe longer at this point. I don't even remember. This was back in January, December, maybe. This might have been October, and we're, here we are in October. This is almost a year-old poem. And, um, you know, I, like I said, the mercury recedes. At mercury recedes as the early morning continues and eventually it did become snow but we were standing we just had gone outside when the rain turned to snow so it was like so beautiful just pieces of small pieces of ice falling through the air like rain and it was still so still so warm it was still so borderline temperature that when it landed on your skin it melted immediately it didn't sit for a second, it melted immediately. So I just thought of like what would happen if, you know, you just squeegeed the droplets off. But it's more like might like this if my hands are going on someone else, it's just squeegee away and eyes are closed and I don't know, it just seemed really romantic and nice, like really pink. But um thank you. Thank you for listening. Like I really love that poem, so thanks for taking in my consideration. If anybody wants to talk more about it, I'm always down to talk about it. So, you know, message me, text me, because most of the people that watch these videos know me anyways. But if not, I'd love to get to know you. And um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.